Hi, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about heading tags in HTML. So, heading tag is represent, represented by h1 and it goes to h2, h3, h4, h5, h6. But typically, we use tell h3. So, what is h1? Now, let's ob uh, observe it. So, this is heading h1 no, then we will just type h2 this is h2 heading and then we will close the tag and then we will type h3 and we will just type h3 heading so what does it mean let's see so now we can see that h1 is the largest in size as compared to h2 and h3 so h1 is larger than h2 and h2 is larger than h3 and so on and so forth and each heading creates a gap between the next heading or next paragraph so now if we will just go back and we will just type the paragraph over here and we will now add some random text as a paragraph So now we can see we have almost completed everything. So this is how typically any paragraph and heading works. So there will be a heading, and then there will be a paragraph. So there is a gap between it to differentiate that you know this paragraph is related to this heading. So we do we do that. So you can see newspapers in newspaper also when we are having a heading then there's appropriate the appropriate distance or gap or space between the paragraph and the heading just to help the or just to increase the readability of the matter now we can see that these all are in same line while we intended to have them in different lines so for that we have a tag called br tag which is line break tag so now we will add these tags and so the br tags are not supposed to be closed because it doesn't really matter much while almost every tag except br tag is closed so now we can see that every line is in so there are multiple lines or there is no continuity and after full stop everything is in next line so br tag separates or adds a break to the line so now we have discussed about the headings in html and about br tag thank you for watching the tutorial